Hey watch fam, it's Phil here at The Loom Room, thanks for checking in. Uh, today's video is going to be a very quick one, just going to be a, an unboxing today actually. Uh, so this one here is a, this is actually a Black Friday deal. Let's have a look, and there we have it, you would have seen this in the thumbnail anyway. But yeah, I, uh, I bit the bullet and got myself a Seiko Arnie. Um, so without further ado... Let's get this out of the box and have a little look. So this has been on my list for quite some time now. I'm actually a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan, so I was always going to be getting this watch, um, but I did put it off for quite some time. I think this one's been out for maybe a year or something like that. Um, and there was always other... <sighs> You know what this hobby is like, there's always other watches that get in the way, uh, so you end up stalling on making uh, purchases on, you know, some watches get pushed down the down the list as it were. So these retail in the UK for £420, and when I seen this on a Black Friday deal, I managed to actually get this for £285. At that price, this thing is an absolute steal. Um, I had no excuses at all, I just had to bite and grab it. And straight out the box, I just love it. You know, I, I knew I would like this watch, um, but I love it. It's probably a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, it's just got that such an 80s vibe about it. Uh, this one was obviously made, made, um, made famous by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. He wore this in a couple of couple of 80s movies, uh, namely Commando and also the, the greatest film ever made, that being Predator, uh, back in 19, 1987. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was 1987, uh, which I absolutely love. I loved all those 80s action heroes, um, especially Arnie, he was he was big at the time. Um, and this, this watch, this is what he wore in those movies. Uh, so, we, you know, let's have a little bit, this is just going to be a rough and rugged video, much like the watch actually. Uh, so let's have a little little tour about the watch. Uh, you can see this is quite a sizeable piece. Um, and it's got that uh, tuna shroud going around the case there. Um, if we look at that dial, so this is actually a solar watch. Um, so that dial is meant to be well it's it's not jet black i'm not sure if the camera's actually picking this up uh, but because that is essentially uh, working as a solar panel there is some opacity to it uh, so it is quite if you hit in the right light you can see it's not absolute jet black uh, but yeah just seeing this this anna digi um combination i just think it's absolutely it's crazy. I don't know any other Annie Digi uh, watches that are more iconic than this um, and that do it as well as this. So this is a 200 meter diver as well. This is certified a 200 meter diver. Uh, so that's why it's got the screw down crowns. So we'll just unscrew that one. Just as I'm winding that, there is a every half turn, there's a tick. Um, so that should play into it. And on these side pushers here if I screw them in that actually reveals the the button there which we will take a look at in a second I'll just unscrew this one too and there we go right so that's all the pushers unscrewed let's take a shot of this together yeah so let's give that a click okay you can see that is going through to Sunday the 6th which is today's date um, so this is obviously already set. Um, if we push it again, okay. So this is picking up a second time zone. You can see that is half past nine, uh, and that little L right on the right hand side there of the LCD screen that stands for local time. I'm not really going to mess about with that to be honest. Uh, we've got a stopwatch here. If I press this top left hand side pusher. That should start the chronograph. If you push that again, that'll stop the chronograph. And if you hold that button down, that resets the chronograph. Quite a cool feature. If we press it again, that's going to give you the alarm. And if I pull the crown out, you can see that that's actually started flashing. 
so that will give me the chance to actually cycle through set that to six and if I press that then that'll go on to the minutes that's 615 and that's that set so if I then if I'm happy with that time for the alarm and then I push the crown back in you can see that that's actually set that uh, stopped flashing and then you've got that little icon right at the side and um, that little I think it's like a little sound audible icon that's going to tell you that the alarm's set so I'll probably turn that off so these double pushers act as another function or another button if you like so if you push them together that will turn the alarm on push them together again that's turned the alarm off the digital screen and the analog are actually married so if i was to if i was to pull this out and say turn right, okay so that's doing the seconds i mean I'll, I'll do that i'll tell you what i'll do this for you guys i'm messing up the time on this yeah so let's cycle through Go to the time. Let's take that way back to like four o'clock. Happy with that, and keep your eyes. So keep your eyes on the, the analog hands. Isn't that cool? So, like I said, those are actually married together: the digital and the analog. So they're always going to be in sync. You can see there that is pretty, pretty bright. Um, and if you hold that button down, the same button, this top, top left, it's actually so that's coming up on the screen as bat seven. So that's giving you an indication, a reading, if you like, of how much juice you've got in your your solar battery. So that's the top is ten, I believe. So that's saying it's seven out of ten as far as energy levels go. Do that again. So yeah, that's definitely going to see me through. I have got the calipers with me today. So let's do some very quick measurements. Let's do that lug to lug. Okay, so that's coming up as 50 on the nose. Um, what else do we want to do? Let's do a case width. That is coming up. <laughs> is 47.3 okay obviously you've got the shroud going around the case so that is going to beef that thing up uh, let's do the case thickness so that is your case back right to the top of the crystal 14.5 so not the tallest you probably will get that under a short cuff um, and i'll tell you what that would probably turn a few heads if you were wearing this in an office short a tie uh, and a Seiko Arnie on your wrist, that's a look guys, that is a power look. Um, and then last, not least, let's measure the lug, lug width, 21, yeah, that's 22, so if you're looking to change this out, this thing is going to be a bit of a strap monster, uh, so 22, if you're looking for straps, you're looking for a width of 22 millimetres, turn that over take a little look at the case back uh, this has got a sticker on it i'll be taking the sticker off i just wanted to do this quick video so that you could get a little look at the watch and see what i picked up on black friday uh, so divers watch 200 meters seiko you've got your little uh your little seiko wave there i forget the name i always forget the name of that is it the kanagawa wave um you can correct me in the comments below by the way sorry if i've butchered that uh made in china and then you've got the Prospects logo there, and then the serial number there. Uh, mine's just got a little extra sticker on top there. I'm not exactly sure what that stands for. Uh, it says here, stainless steel. Um, and then you've got your, I believe the, the movement the movement in this. So this is a quartz watch. Quartz movement in it. I'm just going to take a little look at the hang tag, actually. So first side there Seiko Prospect and if I turn that over that's going to give you the reference of the watch which is SNJ025 P1 and then this part here this is the part that I was talking about it's the Calibre H851 uh, that powers this baby I tell you what Seiko really upped their game as far as the, the straps go 
uh, I think these standard straps that come on they're, 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 uh, are we going to cut the more more affordable pieces this is like a silicone or they maybe call it resin but it's so soft I mean that's going to that's going to feel tremendous we have got a slight texture on that underside that's probably for grip so that's not going to be sliding about your wrist anytime soon um, you can see those little ribs just going through it there which is close to the the watch head and then your keeper here so I've heard a few mixed sort of reviews some people love this keeper some people hate it um, I personally like it I think it's it's big it's chunky it's tool tastic uh, I think it works with a watch but let's take a look at that buckle that's got a sticker on it uh, very plain buckle it's not even signed or stamped so yeah that's that's basic oh, on the back actually Seiko stainless steel cool I think because you've got the digital screen at the top so that means that the the indices are getting pushed in compressed you've got that outer chapter ring which is almost like a it's like a little amphitheater it's really cool it does actually give the impression that this is smaller than it actually is uh, there's a quick wristwatch check and yeah as you can see that's the the date on this isn't knackered or anything like that it is actually going through the cycle because like i said that is coming up for a uh, quarter to midnight um, i'm actually wearing this on a barrio this is a silicone one as well this is like a gray silicone uh, i thought that went well with the makes the blue pop and it kind of goes with that great uh, the grey uh, for this great white save the ocean Seiko Samurai I forget the uh, the exact reference for this one but I might pop it up on the screen you'll see it ping up somewhere there but this is one of my favourite Seikos ever for reference I have a six and three quarter inch wrist certainly from the top down this doesn't um, this doesn't look oversized or anything like that and then if we go to the side I'm going to try and do that as best as I can like I said, you will get that. It's not a slim watch by any means, but you will probably get this under a cuff, under a hoodie or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I can confirm that strap is pretty darn comfortable. Okay, so lines up 100%. Happy with that. Good job, Seiko. And to tell you the truth, the action on it, it's quite notchy. It's okay. It's a little bit tinny. It's by no means even close to being the best bezel out there. Uh, this is an affordable Seiko, guys. Let's keep that in mind. But it's nice. It, it, I can work with that. Leave some comments below, please. Uh, let me know if you guys have got this one. What straps have you put on it? Leave some suggestions. If you have got any questions, then uh, do leave them below and I always try and answer all the questions that come in. I'm going to try and reset this, get it right back to the right time, right day, and enjoy that as much as I can. Um, come and check me out on Instagram as well, by the way, and I will show you which straps I decide to go for, what I've been trying it out on, and then you can see the rest of my amazing watch collection. Well, you can be the judge of that. Anyway, as usual, I've been Phil at the Loom Room. That has been the Seiko Arnie. Thanks for checking in.